Drivers Behind the Lines. In three, two, one, go! Bit of a wait, but we're here for qualification match number six. Starting off with the Red Alliance shot in the lower hub. Blue Alliance tried to get one, but instead got two shots in the upper hub. Right now, as we leave the, tele, as we leave the automated period, Blue Alliance has a minor lead. 12 points to the Red Alliance's eight. 41-71, Baybots already coming over to try and play some defense against the Red Alliance. As the Blue Alliance starts piling up on their advantage. Getting more and more points on the upper hub. 82, 62, Jump Robotics going around with their swerve squad. Getting two shots into the upper hub. As Red Alliance tries to get one shot in, not quite getting it. Here's at 41-71. is inoperable right now. They are not moving on the field. They're having a bit of trouble with their robot. Let's see if they can get back in the game and support their Blue Alliance partners. And see here with 82-62. Jump Robotics getting that cargo, lining up a shot, getting one. Not quite two shots in the upper hub. 41-86 also grabbing their own cargo. Trying to line up a shot alongside their Alliance partner, but Red Alliance not quite getting those shots from 26-43, but their Alliance partner, 20-49, gets two of two shots. Bringing the uh, Red Alliance closer to tying and possibly getting the better of the Blue Alliance. The Blue Alliance has shown, specifically from 8062 and 4186, that they are perfectly capable of keeping the lead that they got from the autonomous period. With less than a minute left in the match, the score is 34 to 22. Red Alliance could still take it if they are on their game. See here with 2643 trying to grab some cargo, getting a little stuck though in the Blue Alliance's corner. 6238 and Alliance partner 2049 on the Red Alliance's side trying to line up some shots. But with three seconds left in the end game period, will they be able to get some last minute points in before the Blue Alliance starts scaling up? We shall see. 6238 looks like they're ready to start scaling up on the hangers. Blue Alliance is not going to the hangar just quite yet. This could be very close if Red Alliance is the only one to get some scales, but Blue Alliance confident in being able to quickly scale the second level rung. But Red Alliance even quicker, 62-38, latching on to the level four, getting the traversal rung in a very short amount of time. That is game. Final scores. The Blue Alliance wins with a score of 46 to the Red Alliance's 45. Red Alliance almost getting a tie from their end game point.